In this topic, we are going to learn about conversion graphs. Conversion graphs can be used to convert between currencies and different units of quantity. In this example here, the graph shows the taxi fare for the first 8 kilometers. The y-axis gives you the taxi fare in dollars and the x-axis gives you the distance in kilometers. We are asked to find the starting fare. The starting fare is this amount here, which is, yes, it is $3.20. Next, we are asked to find the taxi fare if the journey is 5 kilometers. All we need to do is to use the graph to find the fare when the journey is 5 kilometers. And in this case, the fare is $5.40. Yes, now, how much will it cost to travel 22 kilometers? Yes, you notice that this graph is only until 8 kilometers. In order to find 22 kilometers, we need to first find how much does it cost to travel 1 kilometer after the first kilometer here. Here we use a bigger triangle to find the rates so that you'll be slightly more accurate. In this case, 6 kilometers here represents $6.50 minus $3.20. So 6 kilometers represents $3.30. In another words, it costs $3.30 to travel 6 kilometers here. Therefore, we can find 1 kilometer by dividing both sides by 6. And hence, 1 kilometer represents 55 cents. And how many kilometers do we want to find? We are not finding 22 kilometers because the first kilometer, the price is fixed at $3.20. So we need to find the remaining. 21 kilometers and we can find it by using 0 0.55 times 21 therefore 21 kilometers represents $11.55 so how much will it cost to travel 22 kilometers 22 kilometers will cost $11.55 plus $3.20 and we will have $14.75 and that's all for this topic